see this little girl here? See that stamp of foot? Straight away then. And our attitude's, come on, let's get on with it. When we, t you know, put them on the, as you let go of the chain on the wall, it makes a bump. As soon as that bump goes, yeah, come on, let's get on with it. It should be very, very fidgety. Now we're getting to the stage where we can let the train, the chain go, bang against the planks that, um, look, you know, there's the wall in front of the grey planks. Um, and uh, she's beginning to stand, yeah? Now, obviously, you've got to give a bit of room here because she's got some flies around her head anyone can see here, which are going to annoy her. But basically, she's standing. Also, she's standing with her leg quiet behind. So, before, see the bang in the ground, the stamp, going to get in the stamp, come on, let's get on with it. Before, she'd be moving about, backing up, going forward, side to side, just would not stand. But if we sit here quiet, you don't hear me raise my voice to her or, you know, get angry or gob her in the mouth, you know. And all she's got is a soft piece of rubber in her mouth. So, we have to sit here now. Now she's changed her back leg and you can see this offside um, hip is down and she's just stand on three legs. When all stands on three legs, it's no intention of going anywhere, is it? Obviously, it'd be on four legs if it was going to move, walk. So, it's standing there and think, oh God, I've got to stand here, you know, it gets on my bloody nerves, and that's what it's saying. So now it's rested the other hip, and now it will bang the floor, claw the ground, look, you see? Stand still. So, I just tell it to stand still. All I ever do with horses, um, is use my voice. So if I've got a cross voice, that should be enough. Um, you know, if I'm encouraging or whatever tone I'd use, only a tone of your voice, I don't know what you're saying necessarily, but it's the tone of your voice that they understand. So this is a lovely, lovely pony. I'll keep telling you, it looks like a million dollars. One of the best I've ever seen anyway lovely thing and it's got no colour on it and I'm, what I mean by that it's got no white leg because you want four whites or no whites I mean not that that's detrimental to all the way it, but for the look of the horse do you know what I mean a lot of people like four white legs or no legs so no whites um, unless they're trying to match it with something else so she's standing there quiet now isn't she so what I want to do is to leave her to walk out of this yard quietly so the quieter I am the easier going I am don't want to get aggressive, don't want any of that, and she'll respect that. But you've got to give it a bit of time from when she banged her foot down in, you know, being impatient. You know, we want to give it about a minute or so, you know. So she don't know, but before, she'd be all over the place. Oh, God, she couldn't, you know, and I'd have to sit here for a long, long time just to get her to stand to make her realise when the chain is released and makes the bump against the boards, that's not an indication for you to do what you like, let's get going. You still have to stand until I asked you to go. Also, the other thing is, I can do now, I can talk, whereas before, if I said anything at all, she'd take that as an indication, an instruction, come on, we're gonna go and do something, yeah? So, not too bad, really, pretty good. Um, she would be pouring the ground and smashing her foot down in anger before. But she's accepting the fact she's got to stand there. But she cannot take any more in her head. She's three year old. If you looked at her as far as her body's far more mature than her years, you know. Um, she's in lovely condition, shining. She's Everything's lovely about her. It's just this, you know, this age thing. And that's why I said she'd turn her away. Let her have the winter off, and rather than spend any more money now, um, running into more weeks, just come back, and the same amount of weeks that we had on here, if you, as I said to you before, if she was here, this horse wouldn't learn anymore. If it was here, another three weeks wouldn't learn anymore. Because he said it's loaded with as much as it can cope with. That's the thing. So when it stands quiet for a minute, stand still. That'll do. I mean, the head carriage on this pony is to die for. If, if Regis steps down now quietly, and you can see, it's on a slack rein. I'm not pulling the reins, you know, just a rubber bit. Actually, no, 
nose re step down, yeah, nose re there, so she thinks so it was. And I see this behaviour look, drawing the ground more now. and doing her job next spring she wants that time out to go and run and play whichever way we dress it up you know she's three year old well she's three and a half you know when she's coming towards a standstill boat near a four year old she'll be a lot better in my opinion so I'm going to put her back over where she was come over hey, 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 hey. come back come over So you can see there, the anger in her. I'm going to go now. Uh, well, she can't, she's got to stand. But I don't get cross, do I? Or, you know, come over, babe. Whoa. That's it. Come over. Whoa, come over. Come back. Come over. Come over. Come over, babe. Come on. Come on. <laughs> she will argue with me look. So I'm not going to come over I'm going to go out the gate That's what I want to do But you just got to sit here quietly And gently Yeah Straighten the red up That's it Stand still Stand still baby Come on look. Come around Come around Come round. Come round. Come on. Come over. Come round. Come on. Come round. Come on. Come round. So if I'll get her back there, just facing that end of the wall, that's a little bit of an achievement. I'm just saying to her, no, you've got to stand there. So you've got the swish of the towel. You've got the back foot coming up, kicking. Can you see? Look. Just a little kick back there with her foot. But it's frustration because she wants to do. And you can't get cross with them. You get cross, you've lost it. I've just got to sit here quietly. It's like if someone's arguing with you and you're calm and quiet and listen to what they've got to say. If you start raising your voice, you end up having a row. If you just, you know, keep it down and just say, okay, you know, just listen to what they've got to say. That's what I'm doing. I'm listening to what they say, but I've got to agree with her. And the one thing people have got to learn and understand, and it sounds terribly demeaning to a horse, um, but a horse, all the horses, when you're driving it or riding it, unfortunate but true, is the motive power either to carry you along or pull the carriage along. Everything else is down to you. The steering, the speed you do, everything, stop, start, is all down to you. So they've got to listen. They've got to listen. And that's the secret, if there is any secret, of what we do here. So the horse listens to you and behaves. So this is not terrible. So you saw all the scrambling there, I'm going to go, I'm going to go and see. Now, Obviously, you don't want um, the horse to injure itself and fall over in that process um, or like that. But obviously, I've been doing this a long time and you know how far you can take each horse. So this one here now is behaving itself, isn't it? Now is standing quiet and now I'll let it walk on. When I let it walk on, it'll want to go at 90 mile an hour. I promise you. If it walks out of here nice and quiet, then that'll be lovely. Yeah, but it's very, very, very typical. Walk, baby, walk, walk, darling. Come on. That's beautiful. Now this is absolutely stunning. This is the well. This is lovely. Steady, baby. Steady. So she's only got a rubber bit in. So we've just got to get her to walk. That's beautiful. That is the best we've had. I mean, seriously, that is absolutely lovely. I'm so, so pleased with that, I can't tell you. 
That's the best day we've had. Just happened to be filming it, which is beautiful. The best day we've had. Oh, steady, babe. Just walk. Just walk, darling. Come over. So, so this horse is actually going, this pony's going home tomorrow. Going to have the winter off. This is absolutely beautiful. Lovely. So we haven't got the argument. Don't need that, do we? Just want it to go just nice and sweet. There's no rain on it, as you can see. And if I put my rain, it's steady, baby. Steady, darling. Steady, darling. Just walk. Just walk. Steady, steady. It's a real light contact I'm having to maintain with her. Steady, baby. This is absolutely fabulous. This is the best the pony's been. But, steady, steady. Well, we've had bits of this. We've had it jumping and leaping about all over when it's we first let it off. Then we've got it to stand, and it's got out and then started to go off at 90 miles an hour. But we've never had a combination where it stood quiet there and left the yard quiet and walked out onto the road quiet and continued walking quietly as we've asked it to do. But never once, even when it's been silly, do I raise my voice. That's not going to do any good. Yeah, not at this stage. Later on, if it done something I, w I didn't want it to do, I would just change the tone of my voice slightly and get the pony to... Right, that's all she's in the field there. Um, just on the offside here of the road, there's horses um, in there. Oh, just come over, baby. There's a good baby. Good baby. This is a lovely, lovely pony, a show pony if ever I saw one. Got a beautiful action in front, real, real nice pony. And will be a lovely one. But this is hard for this pony because it's exuberant, it wants to run and play and bark and kick and you chase me, I'll chase you, you know, that's what it wants to do. Which is lovely. So to contain it down slowly and apply you know, the discipline slowly, slowly, slowly till he accepts it like this is so rewarding. Steady, baby. I can't explain to you how rewarding it is to uh, to be able to do this, you know. It's just marvellous. So this is, this is lovely. And if you look at his mouth, like, it'll be all soapy. You can see his lips look dribbling out. Yeah, come on, babe. And now I'm going to make it, well, not make it, I'm going to ask it to walk up. I don't make them to do anything, I, you know. That's one thing I do, try not to make them do anything, yeah. I mean, sometimes you've got to be, you know, very um, assertive, but never actually make them, never push them. Also, the thing we never do, which I see all the time breaking horses, which is crazy, in my opinion, in my opinion. Is leading horses. So you've got someone on the rein, someone leading it. No good at all, in my opinion. Because, or this is the way my logic works anyway, if you do that, you, when there is in the future a, a problem, because you've had a, you know, you've, the problem you've had is getting it to do something, so you get someone to lead it and you're on the long reins or, so, when there's a problem in the future, it will look for someone to be at its head. It will never gain the same level of confidence in itself as horse that's never been led. And our horse is never led. I mean, you're talking about a very rare, very, very rare, and I wouldn't even say one in 40, one in 35. No, less than that. It'd be one in 40, 45 that we lead. So if we got an obstacle, for instance, in the arena, yeah? Then we might well. How are you? We'll. Uh, and that was lovely. See that bike come past, called out to us, overtook there, and yeah, that's absolutely marvellous. People, steady baby. People say, 
um, that they learn a lot from my videos on YouTube. God bless, hope you do. A lot of people will look at this, walking quietly up the road and like that, and say, so what, right? Is that all you're going to do? Yeah, maybe is all I'm going to do, because this is the biggest lesson this pony's had. And that's another thing you've got to realise. What they want to see is all trotting and skidding to a stop and cantering and diving in the water and all that. We can do all that, that's not a problem. It's on hundreds of videos, thousands I should think, um, of doing all that. But this is training. This is as much, if not more, than any of them things put together. Because this horse is listening to me, doing what I'm asking to do, perfectly happy and comfortable on a slack rein, yeah? What more do you want? So, we'll have part two in a minute. <laughs> You see, we come all the way down the road and we nice and quiet, got to the river, and we've asked her to go in at 90 mile an hour. I mean, you know, go on, my baby, go and do it. And she jumps in as brave as a button, you know, going into the water. Not the first time she's done it, obviously. Um, and she'll turn in the water, which we don't normally do, and come back round again when you ask her. Um, make a very good trials pony, you know, it's brave. Um, got to remember this pony's three year old. Three and a half, you know, years old. What's it going to be like when it's four or five? You know, um, we got a loose shoe, uh, but we're not too concerned about that because we know we've got plenty of oof there. Should we lose it? Raise that a look, and reckons it will get us home, and then we'll just tighten the clinches up on it to let it last a couple of more days is going to be here. But you see the ponies, it's like just a nice pony, just a lovely pony. And it will be some pony next year. And fast, you know, it's a fast pony, you can jig jog it, you know, you can go whatever you like. Jig, 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 trot. a jeep and a trot and then we go trot on so it's got three distinct paces come on my baby that's it up you go that's it come on my baby boy Baby girl, I should say. <laughs> I never know what their names, you know. Read those to remember all of them, I can't. Um, but I think this one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a statement now. Reese filming at the moment, so. Acorn. Oh, I got it right, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Such a lovely little pony, kind pony, um, but just got as steady pony, got as much as she, it can, you know, in its head, it's got as much as it could want. And, you know, for trials pony, not that they're going to do that with it, but, it, oh, well, I mean, not saying it's a waste, but 
you don't often find them that do that job. I'm, so how do I, why do I say they make good trials, Pony? Well, when it's on song and listening, it's definitely just on the voice, you know, you can get it doing anything. So if he was in the hazards, you could tell it left and right, whatever you want to say. Um, it would learn it. Um, you can set it alight at 90 mile an hour. Like all my horses do this though, I've got to say, because that's one thing we quite pleased we can achieve is you can get a canter out of them um, in the harness with a slack rein. You can skid them to a stop, you know, and uh, then you can ask them to walk away and they'll do all of that and be calm the whole time, you know. Um, come on, up, can't up. Can see that? And if I just ask with two fingers, mine, and it's only got a rubber bit, look. Whoa! And stop on a sixpence. Walk on, darling. And then walk away quietly like that. And that's like, you know, what. And the horse is happy. It's not distressed by it. It's not snorting and blowing. It's not doing anything other than what I asked it to do. And that's just with two fingers, you know, thumb and forefinger. And that's, that's it. Um, and when you can do that with a rubber bit in his mouth, you've got to be communicating with the horse. You can't dress it up any other way and say, oh, yes, this or that or anything. It's got no curve chain. It's got no cantilever at all on the bit. All it's got is a ring, a snaffle, in other words. Just a completely, you know, snaffle. That's it. Nothing else. So, lovely, lovely, lovely little pony this is. And... You know, it like enjoys its bit of grub, it has its short grub and its what's it and it's always up for what's next, you know. The trouble is now its head's full. It needs to digest this, go away, have a rest away from it, yeah, the winter off, and next year this will be some pony. Definitely without any question. And it would go like the indoors, um it was not old oh, no, I think you've got to be four, I'm not sure about that, I don't understand the rules. I don't think it got be four or five, but this um, this little pony would go and do that, you know, indoor circuit with no trouble at all. Steady, bud. Steady, steady, bud. Steady, steady. Steady, bud. Just walk. That fella just there that I just overtook us, brushed the hedge quite hard. Um, you probably can't hear it on this um, GoPro. You'd hear it better on the other one, the other camera. Um, sort of picks up noises from all around. Um, But also it'll go from that being in the water to come out and just walk away after doing the water to have a little canter and ask it to stop. I mean, and seriously, just skid to a stop. Um, you can't ask for more. I mean, it's three year old, so, but its head's full now and it needs to digest. That needs to come back. It'll take it a week just to get back in, two weeks to get it up and getting towards being fit. And then, the, you know, that probably be it. And, uh, it's done all the heavy traffic. I've had it in a, in um, I think, have we had it in a team, Ray? Yeah. We've had it in a team. Like yeah, oh, well, shit, yeah, this is the little, po <laughs> this is the little pony that um, is up alongside Reese pony up the front in a four in hand, you know, in the lead, near side lead, um, in a four in hand. Been offside, yeah, been offside as well. And a pair it's been in, so, to have a lovely grounding. Well, the reason we'd done that, it was a little bit funny with other horses around it, you know, close proximity. That's why we'd done that, because obviously they all got to go together and work together. That's why they call it a team, wasn't it? So, you know, they, um, yeah, they put in a four in hand, so it's done quite a lot since it's been here, certainly done the miles. Um, ever so good on its shoes. I mean, seriously good on its shoes. You consider how many, I don't know how many miles it has done, it's done a lot. Um, we just got this one come loose today. Uh, we'll get home on it. We've had a look at it, as I say. But um, she she picks her foot up and puts it down. Yeah. 
and it's a, uh, oi, 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 just walk. So I see they are just chastising up there, I didn't scream and shout and pull her head off, did I? Just lifted the reins, you know, said to her, no, let her do, you know, basically. And she's come back to a walk, that's lovely. So, it's the same whether you're doing, going for a pleasure drive and a picnic. I don't, I know people get cross, you know, don't demean the horse. I'm not demeaning the horse. I'm trying to get people to look at it exactly how it's got to be. Exactly how it's got to be. To make all safe, confident and happy in any sphere of harness work, what you need to do is to see the horse as the engine and every other mortal thing that the horse does is when you ask it to do it to walk, to trot, to canter to come back, to go steady to come left, come right whatever you want it to do you have that also it's your responsibility to know how much your engine can do because unlike a car engine, it will do 100 mile an hour from the first day you buy it, probably till the day, you know, it breaks down, you know, what I mean, it's like you've worn it out after five, ten years or whatever, right? Or what miles it does. With horse, the more miles it does, you know, miles makes horses, old saying, and very true. But the miles it does, the miles it does, I've got to be done. Um, see there, there was a man there that, God knows we don't have anything like that around here. But he's come around there, seen it, and accelerated past. And that's why you have to have a good horse, you know, that's, that's it in a nutshell. So he's, you know, he's come around the corner and then just dipped the gas, as they say, isn't it? Or booted it, whatever they say these days. And it shot off at 90 mile an hour. Now the funny thing is, I'd drive horse anywhere team of horses or any combination of horses I drive them anywhere it wouldn't worry me at all you know and I've driven them in you know as you see on the films but I've driven them up in Reading up the underpasses there um, central London all over the place in my time but I'm hopeless in a motor car you know frighten the life out of me if a car went as fast as that I wouldn't know what to do yeah Steady, bud. Steady, baby. So, as you can see, pony do more or less anything I asked it to do, and you know, if you can get them to this standard, where you can set them alight and they come back as quiet as a lamb, what more can we ask for? And we've got to make them safe, confident and happy. And if you look at this horse as the motive power, the engine, that's what it is. You don't get in your car, I keep saying this, but it's true, you don't get in your car, turn it on, stick it in gear, do you, and let it go. <laughs> you know, fold your arms, do you? It's entirely down to you. And when you think in this country, anybody, anybody, can buy all, put your harness on and drive it up the public highway, and there's no law against that. Um, and that's why, if they're not broke properly, you get these terrible, you know, things that happen. I mean, you can still get terrible things happen, but if they're broke properly, you've got
got to cut it down massively. Yeah. You've got to cut, you know, you obviously, if they all do all this, I mean, there's a bit of roadkill there. Something's knocked a little pheasant or something, you trotted straight over it. There's a black mark in the road, looks like a man, I went straight over it. There's a twig right across the road here, look, just across this white line. I put her straight over it, you know. See this twig, look, straight over it. No hesitation, straight over. So, she'll do anything I ask her to do, and because I asked her, and that's all she needs is just to be asked, and she's happy. But I don't ask her to do something that she can't do, or that's going to hurt her, or where she's going to hurt herself, or, or she, now, when she come to go out the yard, it, you know, you've got to know what you're doing, how much to put on the reins out to hold her up. When she's scrambling to try and, I'm going out now, I'm not going to listen to you. No, I'm going out, I'm going to go and do this, can't do that. So the amount of pressure and how you hold it and the brake on the car, I mean, whether you break it or whether you don't break it, all them things come into, you know, um, come into, into play, you know, when you're, when you're training or, there's my little baby, just walk now, that's a lovely. Got a lovely head carriage, this pony, lovely supple neck, my old shoes tinking away there. The terrible twins are over there, through there, you won't be able to see them, they're behind here. Um, little and large. We've got a Frisian out there that we've just bought. Um, lovely big Frisian it is. Um, only a youngster going to make a lovely horse like one. Moves nice. Um, and the infamous, and I can the only way to describe it, is the infamous George. Hopefully Crackers, um, which is Ree's pony. Okay, babe, up you go. Trot on in, darling. Uh, now walk. Uh, so, yeah, so pleased with this pony. I know I go on about it, but it's very old. Not very often you get a pony that looks so good, yeah? And he's, you know looks lovely when it goes down the road I mean seriously for what it is I mean it's not on a bloody acne is it or a, but you wouldn't be ashamed to put it into any vehicle you know a cut under gig or you know stand open anything like that you wouldn't be ashamed to put it in I'll tell you that now that do look special going down the road really does come on my baby up you go you little rascal <laughs> 